Hello guys, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you top news. It looks as if the president of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, will end up in the dungeon immediately after he leaves the office because the news reaching us now is a very heavy one. This one is a heavy news and I, I don't think that anybody that gets involved in this kind of thing might be able to escape it. To be honest with you, it might be hard for someone who has gotten involved in this kind of thing to escape. Because maybe he will be given immunity now because he is still the president of the nation. But I think that immediately after he leaves office, that something else may happen that he may end up in the dungeon. Meanwhile, before I take you to the reason why this story is coming up, if this is your first time of joining us on this channel, we love you. Go straight and hit the subscription button, the like button, the share button, and also the notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first to take it. Let's go down to the news proper. Boari faces legal action over missing 149 million. Withdraw your petition, Nani to OB. Boari faces legal action over missing 149 million barrel of crude oil in 2019. <laughs> so I, I don't know how can a whole 149 million barrel of crude oil be missing in 2019 in a country like Nigeria. Of course, you know that the stock in and stock out of the oil that comes in and go out of Nigeria are being recorded. And this oil, they do not come maybe in pickups or they come in heavy vessels, cruise ship. This, this oil come in heavy vessels and there is no way such amount of the oil will be missing without nobody seeing when it was being taken out. So this will tell you that Nigeria is just a joke. And what the politicians are doing in Nigeria is that they are catching crews with the nation. Nigeria is a nation whereby whatever that it takes go, everything goes, everything comes in as long as you are in the corridors of power. Social economic rights and accountability project set up has urged President Muhammad Bari to set up a presidential panel of inquiry to promptly probe the grim allegation that over 149 million barrels of crude oil are missing. As documented in the 2019 audited report by the Auditor General of the Federal of the Federation and Nigeria Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative. Serap also urged him to ensure the effective prosecution of anyone suspected to be responsible for the plundering of the country's oil wealth and the full recovery of any proceeds of the crime. Of course, you know that um, the president of Nigeria is the minister of oil and petroleum in Nigeria. And I think um, Africa is one of the countries that does this kind of thing, whereby the president becomes the minister of oil and petroleum and also the president of the uh, and chief in command of the armed forces of the nation. How can one man be in this, this this is one of the best position in the country being the president and also uh, the the chairman or the president of crude oil and crude oil in the nation that is what pmb is <laughs> and this will tell you that the nation is just catching crews of course you know that when Buhari was entering office he claimed to be the redeemer he also claimed to be the one who will restore Nigeria. He claimed to be the one who will um, eradicate corruption in Nigeria. As he calls it, he says corruption uh, is the one that will eradicate corruption in the nation. But it looks as if that his tenor is one of the most corrupted tenor in the nation. Look at what has been happening. The issue of the headsman, the issue of the BH, the issue of the IPOB and other matters that have been going on in the country, the issue of the kidnap, the issue of unknown government, and the issue of strike. Remember that 2020, the students in Nigeria stayed up to eight months at home without going to school, and on 2021, the sentence repeated itself. Students were at home 
close to one year without seeing the school, the four walls of the university. So tell me now who is deceiving who. Let's go back to the story. Serap also urged him to ensure the effective prosecution of anyone suspected to be responsible for the plundering of the country's oil wealth and the full recovery of any proceed of crime. According to the 2019 audited report by Auditor General, over 107 million barrels of crude oil were lifted as domestic crude without any document or tracing. Nighty also reported missing 442.25 million barrels of crude oil in 2019. Are you checking? The first one is 149 million barrels. Then the second one is the second one is um we have also 42.25 million barrels of crude oil missing. <laughs> so this is what is just happening in Nigeria. Then the other one is over 100 and, um, 107 million barrels of crude oil were lifted as domestic crude without any document or trace. These things we are not traced and they cannot be traced anywhere. Then tell me, how do those who are doing these things maneuver to do it without the, the, the help of an insider? Now, who is deceiving who? I think Nigerians and the Nigerian politicians should tell Nigerians the truth. In the letter dated 22 April 2023 and signed by Serap, Deputy Director Kolawale Uluwadare, the organization said, there is a legitimate public interest in ensuring justice and accountability for this very serious allegation, Serap said. The recommended steps can be taken between now and the end of your term of office to set the tone for the next administration. Naman, it will be withdraw your petition, join Tinubu for a new Nigeria. Former Enugu governor, Senator Chimaroke Namani on Sunday asked the president, presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Pitobi, to withdraw his petition against President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu and join him in the task of making a new nation. Namani, in a statement in Abuja, urged Obi and his, supporter and his supporters to align with the... This one is coming from Chimaroke Namani, the, the former governor of Enugu state and also a current senator urging P2B to drop his petition and join the train. <laughs> you know, um, when I look at what is happening in Nigeria and what Nigerian politicians are doing, you will, you will just... That's why some people don't like playing politics. They believe that politics is a dirty game. Of course, you know that it, during the time of Olusegun Obasanjo, that Namane almost all his properties were confiscated by the government because it is believed that he misused the governmental fund. Now, in the tenor of Tunubu, uh, in the tenor of Mohamed Buhari, Namani was able to come back to become a senator. But during the time of Olusegun Obasanjo, everything Namani had was confiscated. Even his uh, uh, Cosmos TV, Cosmos uh, Radio was also confiscated most of his houses, his properties, and most of the things that he had was confiscated by the government. Now, the question is, how did Namani come back to power again? Or does it mean that there is no justice in Nigeria? Or does it mean that someone can just do anything as long as Nigeria, as far as Nigeria is concerned, and still get away with it? Because Nigerian politicians do whatever they want, and at the end of the day, they still get away with it. And nobody asks what is going on or how come this thing is happening. Like everything that Namani did in Enugu State, if you are a Nigerian and if you are current or if you know the history of what happened in Enugu State during the term of Namani as the governor of Enugu State, you will testify that somehow the man is not worthy of holding any other position. But as it stands now, Namani is fully back in politics and because it looks as if his, his cartel men are there and now 
he is fully back in politics and about to play the politics of Nigeria. And this could tell you what will become of the future of future of this nation if people like this are in politics, if people like this are taking over power. If this is your first time of joining us on this channel, this is where we tell you nothing but the truth and we don't add nor do we remove. Please hit the subscription button. That is the only love you can give us to support our work on this channel. The like button, the share button, and also all notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first to collect it.